Let's take a look at some floor plans. We'll start with the ground floor plan here. And I'm going to show you some other editing features that are available using CSI Crosscut. I can relocate bubbles with the edit grid callout command. Under CSI Crosscut, grid, edit grid callout. If I select a grid, there are a few options which are available. I can move the bubbles from the right to left hand side. I have options for updating drawing dimensions, the dimension offsets per project, and I can also move the bubbles from the top to bottom side as well, automatically. And you can see those changes being made. I can also use the grip editing to stretch grids or dimensions. So if I zoom in here a little bit, if I click on a couple of these dimensions, I can grab the handle and easily move them to the left or right hand side. Now, in this specific ground floor plan, you can see there are some concrete beams at the base. There's a unique feature called the Show Fillet Beam Edges command, which allow you to trim them at each location. So if I click on CSI Crosscad, Edit Members, Reframe, Fillet Beam Edges, I can click on a beam edge. Let's grab one down here. I'll zoom in. This beam edge and this beam edge. You can see it created a fillet beam at the end. Let's take a look at the second floor now. As you can see, all of the composite beam design results are being shown, including the section used, end reactions, number of studs, as well as the camber. Now I can make changes to the beam labels here by going to Label Members Edit Design Labels. I click on the section and hit Enter, and here is the Edit Beam Labels form. I can make changes by having the reactions shown perhaps on the bottom label, uh, the section shown on the bottom or the top, the weight, and as you can see, as I click or toggle on another option, you can see the changes being made on the top of the screen. I can have the shear studs shown or not, or shown on the bottom, as well as the camber shown on the top or the bottom. Okay, so I'll select the weight to be shown on the bottom and click OK. And you can see the change made on the sheet itself. I can match label layouts by going to edit members, excuse me, label members, match label layout, select this section and the one on the right, I'll hit enter and now you can see the layout has matched the previous one I had just performed. You could edit member change the design as well. Under Change Design, I'll select the beam, and now the Change Steel Gravity Beam Design form is shown. Currently, I have a 16 by 26. I could change it to perhaps a W12 by 19. And now you can see the changes have been made. And then I could also match the label layout as I just did perform before. Selecting the initial section, the second one, and hitting enter. Some other editing features which are available include the merging of members. And this can be found underneath edit members, merge members. And you can see some 18 by 50s here on the left hand side of the screen. There's three of them. If I wanted to merge all of them into one, I simply select the beams, hit enter, and now you can see they are actually been merged automatically. If we take a look at a 3D view here, you can see the coped connections all shown in 3D for the changes that have been made for the composite beam sections.